our sun will turn into a pure crystal ball before it dies. Hi everyone, what's up? I am GH, aka Dose Geek. It's nice to be back here with you on Section 51. And big thanks to all of you for your reactions every time we publish a new video. Big thanks too to all the new subscribers and welcome to them. You are certainly aware of YouTube algorithm which makes the channel lose subscribers every time we publish a new video especially when you are a big channel. So, as a means for solving that problem, all I can do is to invite you to put more and more comments, more and more likes on these new videos, of course, if you liked them. So don't forget to subscribe if it was not the case until now, and if you like the channel. And if you are ever a lucky subscriber, don't forget to activate the little bell on the button in order to get the notifications for every new video. All these little things will always help the channel to grow. There is always a little bit of haters who want to put some dislike here or there just to show that they exist, but sincerely, all your kind words always make me forget all this negative energy, all this kind of dark matter. Ah, and one more thing. Some of you asked us if some Section 51 t-shirts were available. Where can we find these beautiful t-shirts? You, you can find these wonderful t-shirts in our official Spreadshirt shop. I will give you the link below in the description of the video. You can visit the shop at any time, it's cool, because there is often some special offers or coupons to get the stuff at the best price. So let's get back to the main subject of today. In this harsh winter brrr, full of darkness, let's talk a little about heat, about light, let's talk about our sun. In a process not unlike human aging, most stars entering the final chapter of their lives tend to shrink, shrivel and slowly turn white. Astronomers call these cold, dense husks of once mighty stars white dwarfs, and unlike humans, their dotage can last for billions of years. In that time, stars with masses between about a tenth and eight times the mass of our Sun burn up the last of their nuclear energy, shed their fiery outer layers and dwindle into an ultra-compact core that pack about a Sun's worth of mass into a planet-sized package. While this might sound like an unglamorous ending for a star, a new study published in January 2019 claims that white dwarf wood may be just the start of a beautiful new metamorphosis. And we also have another study of more than 15,000 known white dwarfs around the Milky Way, a study made by a team of astronomers from the University of Warwick in the UK, who concluded that dying stars don't just fizzle out of existence, they first turn into luminous crystal orbs. One of the authors, Pierre-Emmanuel Tremblay, an astrophysicist at the University of Warwick, said that all white dwarfs will crystallize at some point in their evolution. This means that billions of white dwarfs in our galaxy have already completed the process and are essentially crystal spheres in the sky. Earth's Sun itself, as well as an estimated 97% of stars in the Milky Way, are also destined to end their days as crystal orbs shimmering through the cosmos. For their new study, Tremblay and his colleagues used observations from the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite to analyze 
the luminosity and colors of about 15,000 known white dwarfs located within 300 light years of Earth. They saw that an excess of stars seemed to share the same luminosities and colors regardless of the star's size and ages. The uniform appearance of these stars suggested that the dwarfs had reached some sort of set phase in their development, and one that could span billions of years. Using models of star evolution, the researchers determined that these dwarfs had all reached a phase where latent heat was being released from their cores in large amounts, significantly slowing their cooling. And when a white dwarf cools enough, the molten liquid as its core begins to solidify. In other words, the star begins turning to crystal. This study provides the first direct evidence that white dwarfs crystallize, finally supporting an hypothesis first raised by scientists 50 years ago. If these findings are indeed accurate, they could give scientists reason to rethink the way they have been dating celestial objects. Because it can take a star many billions of years to reach white dwarf status, astronomers often use the stellar elder statesmen to come up with date ranges for galaxies and other celestial bodies in a given dwarf's neighborhood. The heat released during a white dwarf's crystallization phase could slow the star's cooling by as many as 2 billion years. If that's the case, Known white dwarfs may be billions of years older than thought. This complicates an already mysterious chronology. Scientists aren't sure exactly how long a dying star can remain a white dwarf before it ceases emitting light and heat altogether, thus becoming what some researchers call a black dwarf. This theoretical endpoint of stellar evolution has never been observed as scientists think it could take a star quadrillions of years to reach this state. Our 13.8 billion years old universe is far too young to host such elderly suns. Further research is required for scientists to better understand the life and death of the stars and to validate their cosmic dating methods. Luckily, Thanks to the Gaia satellite's extensive observations, there is an unprecedented number of known white dwarfs just itching to share the tales of their long, long lives. Before Gaia, we had 100 to 200 white dwarfs with precise distances and luminosities. And now, with Gaia, we have 200,000. Isn't it fascinating? Now. I wish you to make beautiful dreams made of stars and crystal. We'll be back really soon. Open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper.